I would check for flyaways before I hit record. Oh, that's the wrong way. Okay, this is why I don't do it. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aviva Paria. I have uh, been a celebrity hairstylist for 20 years. Today, I wanted to give you a kit tour. That's right, a kit tour. My professional working kit. Scissors, brush kit, pomade and shiny things, um, products. Okay, that's where we're starting. Look at my socks. These are things that I have found over the years to be the most reliable, that will always perform, that give me the best results when I need them. These are products, irons, brushes, all the tools and tricks that I have been relying on for a long time. When my clients are counting on me to, you know, I can't have some willy-nilly kind of product that makes your hair frizzy or an iron that's not hot enough. You get the gist. These are the best of the best. According to me, I'm sure all you hairdressers, everyone's got an opinion. This is just what works for me. So stick around. I'm about to show you what's in my kit. for a couple years and I love it and I'm not I don't work with them but if you damage it or whatever they give you a new one without even asking I'm just saying this is kind of vulnerable to show you what's in here so this is what it looks like when I open it oh god I'm already embarrassed this is my kit okay okay so this is the side of it extensions irons you know extension cords, extensions and extensions, and then my heat protector, and then she gets zipped up like that, and these go in here, like that. Voila. Hi. On one side, Bumble and Bumble sent a PR kit a long time ago, and I like this bag, and it just seems to hold the scissors well. I've got a scissor, sitting shears, razor blade, a uh, feather razor, not exciting. I have some capes and then I also have uh, my clippers. Off to a boring start, I think. Next is my little brush holder. Vanessa Scally, a makeup artist I've worked with for years, turned me on to walker bags. You'll see them out throughout my kit. Again, not sponsored. No one sponsored me, so <laughs> just assume that this is not sponsored. My favorite brushes for years, and I don't think I've ever actually used anything because I uh, these are spore nets. They're mixed bristles. I used to assist my bestie Mark Townsend. He uses these. I use them, and then I just kept buying them. These last forever, and the uh, the nylon bristles pick up the hair, and then the boar bristles smooth them out. Try and true best blowout brushes. I also love this one. It's a really good one. I, I'm gonna ramble through the whole thing, so buckle in. This is also from Spornet. It's the most amazing sectioning brush, and then it also is the great is a great teaser. I love this might be my favorite brush in the whole kit. This is Tangle Teaser for combing out hair extensions. Sheila Stotts brush for detangling hair, especially when it's wet. This is awesome, especially for fine hair. I have three paddle brushes, one big Mason Pearson, one small Mason Pearson, and a little Harry Josh uh, paddle brush. I like the little ones because my hands are small. They, they just fit really well, and then these also go in my set back. Moving on. Next up is this little mini, mini product thing. This holds like pomades and gels and kind of wet products that I don't use that often. I just gave away my favorite pomade, which is the Our Own Co. Dry Shampoo Texture Paste. That is amazing. I need to order another one. They also have the Flexible Paste, which is great. Orbe Rock Hard Gel. Crazy name. This is a soft pomade. The, all the writing is rubbed off. It's been in there. I, you know, I don't do a lot of men's grooming, so, so a lot of times my pomades dry out. Uh, but that's why I really like the Dry Texture Paste from Our Own Coats, because it kind of pieced the bottom, so it's really, really good for texture. I just got this from Renee Couture. It's a holding gel, sculpt and hold holding gel. This is Color Wow um, High Gloss Shellac, and this, they're not kidding. This stuff is like, you can, I, I don't know if you can see all the 
glitter in there? Can you? YouTube thing? I don't know. Very shiny. This is my product thing. Holder, bag holder. This is not Walker. This is an old bag. When it goes, I will be buying a Walker one to replace it. In no order. First up is the IGK Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. This is incredible. Kind of like a keratin treatment in a can. Actually, I actually think it says that. Ker keratin like treatment in a can. This is great if you have really frizzy, thick hair and you want to get it blown out super smooth. This fights frizz, flyaways. The only thing is it smells really intense and it kind of goes everywhere and I always feel like maybe I'm poisoning myself when I use it, but it really works. Along the same vein, my current, I, and this is, I do work with Aaron Co occasionally, Aaron Co Blue. This is what I use on my own hair. I, I truly think, like I'll always, I need to order some more. This is the um, Smooth and Seal Blow Dry Mist. I just uh, am obsessed with it. I've done this before, but it's just got another, it's like a really nice sprayer. Beta Volume, uh, Volume Active. My favorite, I would start every style, no matter what hair texture, what look I was going for. This is like, think of the ultimate primer for makeup. But they're changing the form, or they changed the formula. I can't find it. Um, I put painter's tape on here because I actually just like the sprayer, so now I use it as a, to hold my water when I give haircuts and stuff. If anyone has one of these old cans of volume spray, uh, let me know and I'll buy it from you. I haven't tried out the new formula, but this is like, this has been a holy grail for me and I'm really sad that they're mixing it up. I will give it a shot, but I'm not excited about it. Orbe Royal Blowout Spray. Like I said before, Orbe products for me, there is, you know, it's the top of the top, my favorite. I love them across the board. They're great products. Their lids don't stay on. It's staying on right now, uh, but I just picked it out of the thing. So uh, this is great for blowing out. It's kind of similar to this. I prefer this one a little bit, um, but this is new to my kit, so this is what I used to use. This is a little more slick and oily. This is a kind of more malleable, good for all hair types. If you have fine hair, this is not going to weigh it down. Or this, uh, Orbe Surf Comer Tussled Texture Mousse. This is really good if you if I'm going for something like where it's gonna be like a wet look or like a beachy wet look. Starting with this and then like diffusing will really give it that kind of crunchy vibe. Not crunchy, but it's it's really good. This is another Orbe Flash Form Finishing, finishing Styling Wax. Um, I should try some of these out actually. It's a, it's a spray wax. Oh no, this is without it and this, you kind of got a little PC. It's like pomade in a spray. I love it, it smells great, works. Along the Orbe Train Dry Texture Spray and the Apre Beach, these are similar. This one is more matte, this one has a tiny bit of shine. This one is more waxy. These have a little more movement. My new my new love from Jenny Cho and the Arnco collaboration, it's the Velvet Curtain Cotton Touch Texture Balm. It's kind of the, per it's kind of like, this is spray wax in a can. This is like cream and texturizer had a baby and it they got in this too. That's disgusting. This is beautiful product. Um, it gives hydration and peaciness all in one. It's not too heavy, it's not too shiny, it's not too oily. It's just got a great, like a lotion, texturizing lotion for your hair. It's really good. Good job, Jenny. From Arm Co. Blue as well, Optical Illusion Smoothing Oil. Lovely, lightweight oil, absorbs quickly into the hair, doesn't leave it feeling um, greasy. Just really nice, quick little shine, really beautiful product. And then also from our Co. Blue, their Feather Light Hairspray. When I'm creating an anchor to attach extensions, extension cords, <laughs> extensions to someone's head, I, uh, I use this because it's very lightweight, it's brush brushable, outable. Also the R Co. Blue, family, all their packaging is sustainable and eco-friendly and the whole kit and the whole kit and caboodle. Lately my favorite shine mist is from Renee Futter. Love this. I haven't found a shine spray of lights in many years as much as I've been enjoying this. Truly, truly, truly. This is a um, refresh and detangle spray from Rizos Curls. This is like a spray lotion. It's um if I'm gonna give someone, a, one of my curly clients, 
uh, diffuse it, give some natural texture. I love this as a primer. It hydrates and also if they're coming to set and their hair's already dry, spraying on, on a little of this kind of refreshes them and I can start over and give them, give them a scrunch, give them a curl. This stuff is really beautiful. See? Spray lotion. So good. This is really beautiful. And the founder of this company is the fir first Latinx woman owned brand to be in Ulta, which I think is incredible. So check this out, Rizos Curls. So good, so, so, so good. The other side of the kit, that's the bad extension cord I was talking about. We have this front pocket here, which is where I hold my pins. Okay, the thing with the art bin is like, I have to put a piece of paper here. It's just something I ripped out from a magazine. Otherwise, um, if the pins get thrown upside down, they go, you know, they don't stay where they belong. U-shaped hair pins, little detailing pins. Oh, look how curly, crooked that is. These are very flimsy pins, not my favorite. Bobby pins, you know, the normal, the normal elastics, some little thin elastics. Not much to see here. You know, they work. And then I have a thing of hair extensions. You know, I have more in the, I have a little bag in my trunk that I have flow over things, but on a day-to-day -day basis, these are my blondes and my brunettes. I think for a lot of hairdressers who work work the red carpet, uh, they think this, this is small, but it's been working and yeah, anyway. This is also not a walker bag. Yeah, that's why the zipper is broken. We'll be buying a walker bag for that. Finally, in this part of the kit is my electrical tools. Harry Josh blow dryer, my favorite of all time. Going along with the Harry Josh, two, two irons. Well, Marcel's that also, I think a few, yeah. Oh. There's a way to take the, <laughs> the clampy thing off so you could just use it as a wand. There it is, okay. So now it's a wand. That's a lot of hoopla for that anticlimactic situation, but it's great to have the option. My newest obsession, this T3, it's giant. And I think those are about the same thickness. I have to say it's all electrical and it's very hard. To, uh, I like always forget to use it and sometimes I get over it and I just turn this one on. I love this one for creating like a soft zigzaggy uh, kind of wave, flat iron technique, flat iron wave to, flat iron wave technique, but using this, it's just beautiful. My hair gets super smooth. Uh, the, this coating is really, really nice. And it's, you know, the technology, like you enter if your hair has color in it, you enter in if it's like damaged and at what thickness and it like heats to your desired needs. Harry Josh flat iron. These plates are super wide and um, you can, I mean, this is not on, but it just glides the hair really nicely. Uh, nothing really gets anything, no other flat iron that I've used gets uh, your hair smooth and straight as, as well as this one does. I love hair gosh tools. A root iron, this is from Kristen S. To, you know, if you need to smooth out your roots, that's what this is for. Target, it's like, $45 or something. And then along with that, like a super tiny flat iron, I had to get like really close to a root. Nano titanium from Babyless. Babyless, Babyless. Next up, a little side kit um, is this really cool vegan leather backpack that, um, it's actually a diaper bag from the Honest Company, but it works really well as like overflow and stuff that I just wanna make sure I have on hand that I don't necessarily get to use every day. When I want to diffuse hair, I use the Dyson. This is awesome because you can turn the heat all the way down and it prevents frizz. This is my favorite uh, diffuser. And then I have all of my smaller, smaller irons for smaller curls. This is one I just got, it's from Japan, it's very cool. La Viva, with, Anyway, Hot Tools makes really good clampy. And then down here I have like, ribbons and donuts. I've never used this actually. Things, if I need to tie the hair up or in, in any way. I also have like wig caps and I normally have a wig head in here. 
she's got some pimples. Uh, anyway, this this should be in here. I don't know if it will be. So frizzy today. So 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 frizzy today. Okay, and last but not least is my set bag. Here is my walker walker set bag and then this is what I was looking for that should be in the backpack. This is my bag of color sprays. So my go-to Rita Hazan color sprays. Uh, I just was recently sent a whole bunch of them from Aramco, which are good, but uh, nothing packs a punch like Rita. So those are I'm kind of low actually. And then I have some color wow pow powders that you can paint on. So that's my color bag of little color sprays and, and stuff. You can add roots to hair extensions, cover up grays. I, I feel like I definitely need to have them. And then my walker set bag. This is kind of like the home button of my kit. Uh, I have to have, this has all the essentials in it. Inside is uh, this, another walker. In the front of this are little, you know, creaseless like get your hair out of your way clips. This is from IGK, but I have some in here from, you know, all the companies. And then I have the bigger, bigger sectioning clips. This is rose gold from I can't remember. These are the Kristen S clips that are super strong. I love this so much. Super strong. They don't move, but they're also kind of cute looking. Okay. Next in here is another walker bag. This one is my combs. My favorites are, this is YS Park. They're a Japanese uh, company. Incredible, long lasting combs. This is another YS Park. This bigger, thicker Reiki, Reiki comb, YS Park. This is a little edge, edge comb brush. Really, really good, multi-sided. These are my mascara wands. You know, I could have used it today. Smooth down flyaways. If you're doing like a really snatch look, these are great for that taming stuff. Then some rat tails. The two black ones are Harry Josh. Really good teasing combs. Uh, I got this in Drunk Elephant and a PR from Drunk Elephant. It's fun to kind of like tease like that. Um, but also if you put a like a beachy wave in some someone's hair, you could kind of comb it out and it kind of keeps its messiness without overdoing it. And then um, this is from, I don't know where that's from, but it's great to, if you wanna like lift the hair, get a little volume, has a little pick on pick, pick, big pick. And then I have a mirror uh, from Muji that, you know, oh, look at your hair, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, in the front, uh, to go, pin case, again with the paper because they move everywhere. Last time I was working was with a blondie, so I have a old Lalabo um, lotion for when I wash my hands, it's so dry. I have uh, some eye drops because I have itchy eyes and there's often a lot of dust on set. This is a lint roller. A lot of times I'm alone getting someone ready, not alone, but like a makeup artist in me and that's it. So. It's nice to have extra band-aid, little mini scissors. This is to cut tags off, not, not to cut hair. Uh, hot sauce, how cute is that? My bag swag in my set bag. The back back here, back 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 here. Oh my God. This is a Corona sugar cookie, Corona shaped sugar cookie. My setting clips, another Walker bag. These are like, you know, if I'm doing like a, a finger wave and I wanna set the hair into any kind of pattern really. Those are single pronged and these are double pronged snap clips. You know, these, these guys. Oh, this is like safety pins and yarn to sew some clips onto hair extensions. I have, oh, this is from the set of, I did the movie Colombiana with Zoe Saldana back in 2010. And this, and her character has, it's a lock with this or something? Anyway, and I just, it's so sentimental that movie so long ago and um, anyway, never threw it away. I would never use it, but it's sweet. And a very, very important thing, wine opener. You'd be surprised how often this thing is called to, to be used. And then, oh, this is cute. I have a little Liza Koshi button in here. I've worked with her for a couple years, many years actually. 
That was when one of the first seasons was coming out. On it, the best hairspray of all time. Um, I've used this forever, but a long time ago you could only get it in Europe and now they have it over here. It's still not 100% the same, but it's just the best, most workable hairspray. You can use it up a ton and then brush it, brush it out with the Mason Pearson brush. Tried and true, never gonna let go of this. I have like 18 of them over there in my closet, which maybe I'll do a set set tour. The only thing I don't have, and I think I, it's because I gave it away with my, um, or I, it's in my car, dry shampoo bag. I have a bunch of dry shampoos. My favorite ones are, Mark, Mark Townsend is my sister, and um, he turned me on to Dove Dry Shampoo, and it, it is incredible. It's easily found no matter where I am. The other day I'd have some Postmated. And then I also like this Way by Rado one because it smells really dreamy and it, it's it's super dry shampoo. So if something, you know, something really crazy happened like they came from the gym or they, I don't know what I was gonna say, went kayaking, uh, this will soak up anything. So that's it. I, you know, I have other, I have a leaf blower, I have more tips and tricks. I also have a whole studio. If you'd like to see a studio tour, let me know. Be into doing that, but geez, I feel so exposed. Yeah, that's that's my kit. If you have any questions about any of the things in my kit that I talked about today or something I'm missing, please leave it in the comments below and do all those youtube -y things like subscribe, comment, ring the bell, tell a friend, uh, send a carrier pigeon. Before anything gets in here, I try it out on myself multiple times. All of this stuff has been, you know, the goodies for years. So uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you on the next one.